Thank you for sitting with us okay. here at a men's dress. You're very welcome. Yes, and you're looking quite dapper, quite beautiful. Very Thank you. Spry, very just gorgeous. I appreciate that. Um, so, for all yeah. that comment. Yeah, so tell me something. Do you think there is such a thing as men's fashion? Uh, you know, I strongly believe, you know, since I've been born, actually I was with my father. Uh, wherever he wanted to go, I was with him. And uh, I've learned from my daddy when he was always dressed up and just, you know, meeting everybody. I was a little bit different than any other kids that most often wanted to really play with their own ages. So I was with him and I was following, putting myself into his shoes and have my tie. I remember that at age six of, you know, I was six years of age. Mm -hmm. And from then on, I just was a tie man until just, you know, I went to university and then I changed it to bow tie. Okay. And then just, you know, then after just university, I just came to United States. Then I changed it to again to the just, you know, tie. And then just, you know, I converted myself again to the bow tie man. So the bow tie. So which one do you like best? The bow tie I love bow tie. You love the bow tie? I love both. For what? that reason, I'm charging my client $75 extra for every hour for <laughs> just for having a bow tie. <laughs> and most of my clients say that, take off that bow tie. I want to just you know, save $75 from 500 <laughs> So what is it about the bow tie that you like? Actually, just, you know, give you more prestigious and more distinguished, just, you know, in my opinion, better than tie. I just, you know, and besides that, I want to have confession that I don't say to anybody, I want to tell you. I'm because when I have bow tie, I just, you know, I never wanted to be worried of just, you know, drop off just the food, yeah. wanted just to go uh -huh. all over my tie <laughs> and make me, make me to be embarrassed. So bow tie can cover and just secure me not to really be worried about dry cleaning or, or spending any money for that. So it's very stylish and it's properly functional. Exactly. All together. <laughs> so and economically, just, you know, it's going to be very good. You it's know, very well. good. <laughs> well, it does, I think, bow ties do add a certain pizzazz to mm -hmm. the man's fashion. And it, it's a little more exciting, I think, than just a tie hanging down. Um, so I, uh, I personally, I appreciate a bow tie. Do you ever wear a waistcoat? You know, the, the one that... Sometimes, yes, I do. On which occasion do you wear uh, it? When I wanted just to go for second and third and fourth marriage. Of <laughs> my... <laughs> <laughs> I must say, you are the most colorful interview I've ever had here Thank you. Man. Thank <laughs> you very so much. I really appreciate Thank you. That. Keep it. When I become yeah. a president, we run soon. And then just bring, me, bring it back to me and remind me that exactly what happened. <laughs> Well, you're going to be seeing this, I'm sure, when you are um, a president of Iran. We'd like to see that. Thank you. So, um, in just a few more moments we have left, and in a few words, do you think there's anything that needs to be added or taken away from men's fashion as we know it now? Not really. I just, you know, I, because I always say that, you know, uh, when you are uh, just, you know, well dressed up, and, uh, you know, I always say to clients even, just when we go before the judge, I said, look, if you want to be with just blue jeans, you know, I'm not saying that you're going to lose the case, but I'm sure that sometimes the wisdom of the judge or anyone similar to that position mm -hmm. is going to be the physical appearance, mm -hmm. which means when you do show yourself how well organized, how well distinguished in respect to just, you know, how to uh, dress up yourself, that's going to be another plus to the evaluation of that person wanted to visualize your character. You know, un unfortunately or fortunately, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I just do, I strongly believe. Yeah, that's right. So, uh, based on that fact, I'm just, you know, uh, I'm saying that the character will be evaluated, you know, sometimes based on your physical appearance mm -hmm. and just, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, well dressed up and just have a good taste of colors mm -hmm. and combination of just not to really just, you know, have pajamas sometimes. I, I do see typical American style sometimes. They do have a two different colors of a coat and just trousers and just is not match at all. Right, and, you know, right. it bothers me a lot. I don't know, right, just, you know, right. the kind of Western type they call themselves like right, John right. Wayne or just, you know, right. a pistol man or something. I just, right. I, I don't know. I don't understand right. that at all. So and do you, I do see even people in 
the line of my profession when I do see in court, you know, they do have very, very just, you know, ugly appearance that really just, if I want to be judged before the judge chamber, I could just, you know, decline all my just, you know, votes in favor of that party. So do you think men should can pay a little bit more attention to their dress altogether in terms of color, um, in terms of putting it together in a, in a more cohesive, matching way? Yes. Men don't do. Yes. I was talking to my friends just, you know, today I said, I'm really against those individuals who wanted to be uh, just, you know, anchor of the television and then they want to just they don't want to have any tie or just you know anything similar to that mm -hmm. and they want to have an open just you know color shirts and that's embarrassing for mm -hmm. a person wanted to interview others and they're all just well their stuff and then he wanted to show what he wanted to show uh, his <laughs> skin you know or uh, or just you know be a good macho of hollywood that's not the case okay. i hate it Okay, so, so you think that for a man to be dressed, he really should be wearing perhaps a bow tie and, and um, a and be shirt or stop. a tie. I mean, yeah. just, you know, that's right. Do you foresee the possibility of a men's fashion design where you're not wearing a tie, but the shirt and everything is designed so that you're looking well-dressed, but it's exclusive of a tie or a bow tie. Do you ever envision something? That's right. I do have that envision. Just, you know, it depends on the environment. I mean, mm -hmm. to what environment you want to choose. I'm not saying that always when you, want to go, when you want to go to sleep in your bedtime, you have to have just, you know, uh, a bow tie. or the, No, I'm saying that it depends on the character of that human being, which means you want to go just, you know, uh, for hunting. That's going to be just, you know, to be dressed up with the hunting, just, you know. Uh, stuff. And when you want to go for sh just, you know, uh, fishing, that's going to be just, you know, uh, the kind of dress that is going to be very, I mean, just uh, very chic and very, you know, handsome for that person just to go with that kind of dress stuff. So it depends on where you want to go and what environment you want to deal with. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm always uh, just, you know, uh, let's say adapting myself mm -hmm. uh, in that just, you know, uh, position. So do you do you think that the, the concept of a kilt and I'm going to call it a kilt right now because that's what's most popular. And nowadays they're calling it skirts, but here we call it a manch. Do you think that this is a kind of garment that should be added to the man's wardrobe? That's not a bad idea. Why not? Just it depends on again, just you know, where, what kind of environment, just you know, he wanted to really use. Yes. It's supposed to be just, you know, uh, that's not a bad taste. I just have no objection to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, and particularly if it's well made and uh, properly put together, uh, so you would embrace this kind of, of trend. It's now becoming a trend, but. Um, we believe that it's going to become truly a part of the man's the sure. man's wardrobe in the not too distant future. So you would you would see yourself wearing one maybe to dinner or um, on the occasion, not necessarily into the courtroom. Oh, you're absolutely correct. Yes, as I said, occasionally you can just you know uh, use that kind of option, and uh, you know uh, that taste is acceptable to me as well. Excellent. I want to thank you so much for joining us on this, and I hope that you you'll uh, sit with us again and talk. I'll to be us very more. honored. Yes, thank well, you very I'm much. I'm very honored to have you. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank you.